Welcome, everyone. I am so thrilled to bring in my dear friend, Mitchell Winter, to join us for an interview and to share his journey as a performing artist. Uh, Mitch and I actually did a lot of work together uh, back in the day, production shows, traveling, all of the rest. And he's just been such a great friend for so many years. And I'm just so excited for him to share with you his adventures along the way, um, because I know that after we worked together, he made it into uh, Yale University. And that was his doorway to moving to New York. So I am just so thrilled and excited to bring him in for a chat. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. good. Yes. So good to see you. Yeah, you too. You too. Oh, wow. Long, <laughs> Long time. How, how's things? How's everything? Oh, good, good. Yeah, I mean, um, gosh. Yeah, New York is uh, trucking yep. along. <laughs> um, Still spending lots of time indoors. Yeah. Okay, so Mitch, give everyone a little, in a nutshell, a background of you, you know, how you started and what made you want to get into this industry. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, so I kind of grew up, well, I grew up in Sydney and I played a lot of sport as a kid, but as I was growing up, there were just like, I had a lot of things that I wanted to do. Like, I wanted to be like... Uh, you know, I wanted to be a fighter pilot. I wanted to be a soccer player. I wanted to be like, uh, travel all the time. I, wanted to, and I, I just had all these things I wanted to do. Yeah. And then I was like, well, if I'm an actor, I could do all of them. I could get to, right. get to play lots of different things. Yeah. So, so it kind of, it kind of um, kicked off that way a little bit. My, my, fir the first, my first exposure really was when I was uh, in primary school mm -hmm. my school choir was selected to be the little kids in the professional production of Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat so I would go to school every day and then we get on the bus and we go into the city every night to Her Majesty Theatre yep. and do the show and I just remember being backstage and like the smell of the the smoke and the lights and the energy yeah. and all this sort of stuff and I was like I uh I, I love this. I love this. I, I want to do more of this. Yeah. Um, so that kind of kickstarted me kind of opening a bit more to like doing more kind of shows and things. I started doing classes at ATYP yep. and like um, uh, I was always singing a lot. I was involved in a choir um, all through um, high school as well. And I got to tour quite a bit with that. And then when I kind of uh, finished high school, I was like, well, this is what I would like to do. I, I, I was, uh, and so I auditioned for programs and I um, got into WAPA. I went to WAPA yep. for three years mm -hmm. and then, um, and then graduated from WAPA. And yeah. that's when I met you just after that. I <laughs> just know, after that. we were babies. <laughs> that show, gosh, yeah. Yeah, what a time, what a time. Oh, long time, <laughs> but great memories, honestly. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was, yeah. yeah. And I, I just love that um, throughout all these years and no matter where we are in the world, it's like we've, we've always been in touch and we've always kept a friendship, yeah. which has been amazing because any time we visit, it's like, Hey, I'm here. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, it's nice. It's I love, so I love, nice. I love getting that message out of the blue of like, you're here. Awesome. <laughs> Catch up. What cool. are we going to do? So yeah, yeah. To do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so nice. It's so nice. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, and what, what happened after, um, cause it was not long after you went to Yale after that. Yeah. So I was in Australia for a few years. I did yeah. musicals for a bit there, um, did a couple of shows and then I had always wanted to come to the States. And I was looking for a way. I'd been flirting with the States for a little bit, doing little trips over. <laughs> way to put it. <laughs> doing some little short courses here and there, you know, just yeah. seeing if we could be a match. And um, <laughs> anyway, one, one trip I went over and I had uh, a couple of meetings with a couple of people. And they said to me, um, two of the three people said to me, hey, have you ever thought about doing a, grad, uh, a graduate acting program here? And I'd never didn't know much about it or anything yeah. like that, but I knew that I wanted more, more acting training. Yeah. And so I, I literally, I looked into it and uh, I had a week to get my application in. So, yeah. so I like just sent off my application. Um, and then uh, 
I came back to Sydney and then I was flying back to the States like um, two months later because mm. I had something to do in LA and I drove up to San Francisco to audition and then I auditioned for the programs and got in yeah and then I moved to the States for, for okay. grad school for acting school so yeah um that was about <laughs> 10 years ago now yeah, yeah yeah it's been a long time it's been a long yeah. time but it yeah, has yeah. gone so fast I mean if you think about it um it feels like well, even I just saw you a year ago, over a yep. year ago, you know? So it's it, just, it's kind of crazy. So crazy. It has, it's, I was trying to think of when that, that point was that I saw you last. And yeah, yeah. so that was like a year in, in November. Was it? Oh, October. Just, yeah. It was October. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. No, mm. I know. Yeah. And that's what I mean. It's just like, you know, I think sometimes we... Uh, like, you know, I think um, we just try to fill our time with so many things, but also not to take that time for granted because, again, click of the fingers, a year ago I was actually over in New York with you and then now look at it. You know, I know. it's crazy if you think Yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, definitely, like, this this time, the last year has been so interesting because um, it's, it's definitely kind of um, uh, we've had extra time. Yes. And so, like, there's, there, well, I've, I've had lots of extra time. <laughs> so, it's like, so it's like, oh, um, I, I found myself starting to do things that I wasn't, that I wasn't doing because I was busy. Yeah. But, I, but, why, but, but as I was doing them, I was like, why, why wasn't I making time to do these things before? Because I love these things. That's right. Know? Yeah, mm. it, it comes down to that, isn't it? It's like time management, but also um, just priorities. And, you know, yeah. it, it, goes, it goes to those things of how I think this year has shifted everybody mm. to, and I, I say this, I think, in literally every interview because it's everyone's feeling the same and it's, it's yeah. awesome that we're all feeling the same and we've done so much with our time that we've had. Yeah to just kind of collect our thoughts and think, you know what, today's the day I'm going to start that project that I wanted to do all these years ago or, you know, whatever it may be. And I just think um, that's just so cool. And if we could only do that all the time, you know, so yeah. it's like how can I apply that all the time, even if things go back to the new norm, whatever that is. Yep. Um, yep. But I think following your passion and your dream and all of those things, it's it's still the main seed of all yeah. of it. And yeah, yeah you know, instead of kind of getting um, distracted with everything yeah. else in your way or just saying yes to things because, you know, you go, oh, what? yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, but yeah. now it's, it's come to that point where you're like, you, you're learning how to enjoy so many more things that you are passionate about still, if it's within the industry or not. Yeah. But now you're going, actually, no, I don't want to do that because this is more important. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I think a lot of people are feeling that way and, um, yeah, prioritising things differently, which is yeah. cool in a way. Yeah, definitely. It's shifting the energy completely with everybody yeah. and it's, it's, it's nice to be around, yeah. <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. It is, yeah. And, yeah, um, yeah like, a, yeah, just a big wake-up call. To, oh, us. yeah, totally. Well, I'm going to throw some questions at you and I'm going to ask the first one because we touched on Yale. But what was the feeling you got when you received, whether it was an email, phone call, what was that feeling of thinking, oh, my God, this is happening? Like, I made it. I made it in. Gosh. <laughs> I, I, I was, I was uh, in New York still at the time, and I got a phone call from the head of the program, who, and he said I was in. And, yeah. and I think it was really, really hard for me to, like, it just didn't really hit me at the time. I was kind of like... Oh great, cool. Uh, um, yeah, okay, thank. You. Great. Like you know, I just kind of like didn't really. I was lost for words. I was yeah. like, I, yeah. I, I, it wasn't really hitting me. And I know that the head of the program was like, like he 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 gives those phone calls and like people will like scream or people start bursting into tears. Yeah. And here's this guy kind of going, oh cool, yeah. <laughs> um, but I was just kind of so. Um, it didn't really hit me. It didn't really read and stuff. Yeah. Um, but uh, you like that with a lot of things, though. You're very humble, and you're just like, "Cool." So I'm just going to go and do this, and um, it's usually huge news for us to hear. But you're like, "Yeah." So. 
Well, I, I, I think it actually comes more like I'm not, I'm, I find it hard to, I, when I get, I get a little overwhelmed with feelings sometimes, you know, mm. it's hard for me to express it. I'm just kind of like, Oh wow. Like it's so like, I don't know how to put words to, to things sometimes. And, yeah. and, um, but it definitely, it definitely hit, can hit me and continue to hit me. And even once I got there, um, mm. and started it, I was still like having moments of like, wow, whoa, yeah, whoa, this is a cool, this is so cool, wow, you know, like, yeah. so it kind of, it kind of continued, um, um, yeah, it was, it was amazing, and such a, I knew at that point, I knew that, like, this is like a, like a, a, a fork in the, a life kind of veering in a direction, you yes. know, like, like, yeah, and, um, and a lot of things, a lot of new things became, tangible and open and possible yeah. and so it was super exciting it's yeah. so amazing and i think weren't you if i can remember our conversation back then um were you the only aussie then? Yeah. yeah right yeah well so um there I, I was the they haven't haven't they hadn't have they haven't had an australian <laughs> right. go through the acting program before because they can't speak very well as you can see <laughs> <laughs> They're not good with words, um, but uh, they hadn't had an Australian go through the program, the yeah. acting program. Um, but there was actually an Australian playwright there while okay. I was there. Um, this amazing Australian playwright who yeah. is a screenwriter now and uh, based in LA, and she's mm -hmm. and it was awesome to have her there because, um, I mean, Yale is in New Haven, which is in Connecticut, and yeah. it's. Um, you know, it's like, uh, it was winter and cold and, and like you, it's such, it's so different to sunny, beautiful Sydney. You know, yeah, so it's like, winter is still sunny and you know, it's kind yeah. of cold, but not that cold if you're in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it was, it was like, I, it wasn't like I was moving to New York or moving to LA. Yeah. I was moving to a town in Connecticut. Yeah. So it was like such an adjustment. Um, yeah. but to have an Aussie there that was just, she was she's awesome so yeah. it was like really it was really good to have, have a, how lovely have, is that just a little bit of comfort you know because it's a big yeah. move you know you're not just moving a different state here in oz it's like you're completely moving internationally everything is different um and then you're going into this program as well mm -hmm. that you're going to be doing full time and yeah. it's a lot to take in and you know and you think all those years ago it's a lot, that's a lot because you're young, you know, it's you're younger, I should say, but it's a lot to, to yeah. grasp and, and I can imagine that because I know like we've all worked internationally and done, and done all of that stuff, but I guess moving for you would have uh, definitely helped you, uh, let's say, evolve and like uh, grow into your own overnight because you were on your own, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, yeah, and I, I, I kind of... um there's a part of me, uh, maybe a little sick part of me that enjoys that kind of discomfort because yeah. I know that there's uh, good to come, you know, there's good to come from it. So yeah. I, 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 it doesn't mean it's, yeah, there was discomfort, you know, I was out of my comfort zone, but like, Which I is was awesome because I think like we all say, you know, you got to get used to being comfortable um, with being uncomfortable because yeah, yeah it's in those discomforting moments that you think, okay, changes, changes upon me, <laughs> What's yeah, happening? Yeah. you know, but like, we're not meant to know. It's just, you know, you just got to trust and let go and let it be, yep. which is yep. cool. It's so cool. And I'm glad you said that too, because um, yeah, to others, it could be quite overwhelming and to, you know, um, a lot, a lot of people could get homesick as well. Like, yeah, did yeah. you ever feel homesick being away or were you just completely yeah. enjoying the I mean change? I definitely had, I definitely had moments, um, uh, of, of that and kind of, you know, uh, so like you find out you get in and it's March and then you, and then you don't start till August. So yeah. you have this period and it was a really strange period because I got back to, I got to, to Australia in April and I had maybe, maybe three months to kill. Yeah. And, and I was like, for the first time in a few years, I was like, wow, I don't have to, um, <laughs> really like do anything right now I know what I'm doing for the next three years like and so I just was got really kind of I, I really enjoyed my time back in Sydney for those three months and really cherished it and relished it so mm -hmm. that when I had to move I, it, it, I was like whoa that's right I I'm doing that and I yeah. um, and uh, so it was kind of like a it, it was not like a just like straight 
got in and then went straight there. It was this weird, weird yeah, hybrid weird period. Limbo moment. I think that happens a lot with them um, because a lot of my contracts were, you know, overseas and whatnot. So it was always coming back. I had like two or three months and it's, it is that thing that, um, it's enough time that you actually need to be working and doing stuff, but then you can't commit to anything that comes your way. Yeah, Cause yeah. you're like, Oh, yeah. but I know I'm going. So yeah, yeah it's quite difficult. Yeah. So it's I, like I completely a, understand that feeling. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but I, once I kind of got there and I was getting into it, I mean, it's so, it's so rigorous and so, so much work all the time and you're surrounded by really amazing yeah. and passionate teachers and and other actors and so you just kind of like you're just drowning in just yes. all of the good things that you want to be drowning in like yes. work and all this yeah like it was just so like I I kind of was like all in like once I was there and oh, absolutely kind of, it's yeah. you have to be if you couldn't you could not possibly go into something like that half-heartedly you know no, no. And, yeah. yeah oh yeah I think it's just such a pivotal moment for you because then obviously that made you go, well, I am going to stay. Like, here's my yeah. home, you know? Yeah. It's gone quick though, as you say. It's like I know. Yeah, of course. As time goes by, it's like, you know, but you can also reflect and think of how many things you have accomplished and what you have done in this yeah. time too. But anyway, I'm going to throw you on a next question, another question. Don't so... You know, this is going to be really hard because I wouldn't be able to decide either because I think they all have their own their own um, qualities. Mm -hmm. But screen, stage, writing, what's your pick? <laughs> wow. Or what does each, um, you know, part represent for you? Hmm. Um, my, first, my first thing was like, stage yeah. um that was my first thing uh and i think it's because it was my first love it was my kind of introduction to it all it's like the feeling of being on stage the feeling of an audience the the, the liveness the danger all of it is just so it's the best yeah. and like i'm and i miss it i miss it like i've i've missed it these last nine months you know like i miss uh, and i miss seeing it and i miss um yeah and it's uh I can't wait to do that again. Yeah. Um, um, and I'm really interested in f uh, screen stuff at the moment. That's kind of yeah. where my main kind of focus is right now um, or, or was pre COVID. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then like, it's interesting because with COVID uh, I've been exploring more writing stuff now and, yeah. and it's, it's interesting. They kind of, it's interesting how, the, your curiosity just kind of flows between them. They, they don't have, and I don't think they have to be exclusive or yeah. they, they kind of um, all kind of, I don't know. I feel like I can be fluid between them. Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, um, I think, I think, I think the writing has come about because, um, you know, with the absence of things to, mm. to do and like, uh, I found myself just really wanting to like make things and do yeah. things. Yeah. And, like the creators. And, that's, that's what we yeah. do, you know? Yeah. 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 And, and this felt like a, the, that felt like the, the way I yeah. could and had the, the time to as well and all that sort of stuff. But it was, it was cool because I found myself doing it from a place of pure curiosity and pure desire, pure, just, it was not, for anybody else, but for me, it yeah. was not for like, a, it was not for, not for like an end product or not for a specific, like, yeah. like grant or a specific audience or a specific anything. It was just purely, I want to make stuff and I want to do, I want to do this thing yeah. and, or I want to explore this story yeah. and, and it's purely coming from me yeah. and that's kind of cool, you know? It's, it's so like, cool. It's, and that's where it, it comes from that, you know, and that's, again, it's like a thought process. It's uh, planting that seed and then, exploring that you know and, and what what grows from that as soon as you start like all it is is just that intention behind you know what you're doing and you're coming from a place like it's pure authenticity you know because mm -hmm. this is just coming from you you know and yep. where that may lead it's like who knows but that's the exciting journey of it all you know when it comes yeah. to writing and um again you know like whoever 
sees it, you know, whether you do end up showing people, you know, whatever it may be, um, it's just going to be amazing to see what comes out of that as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited already. <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> for you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, always it's, are. <laughs> it's definitely opened up like a, a new thing that I, um, that I uh, had kind of never really seen myself doing prior to this. Mm -hmm. And I think it actually started because when we went into lockdown in New York at the beginning, I started doing, do you know The Artist's Way? Do you know that book? I've heard that. Yes. Yes. It's like a, like, like a book that kind of takes you through all these different like exercises and you do like journaling a lot and you kind of, yeah. it's kind of to open up like an, a creative channel, I guess, or, or like explore creative sort of things. And, yeah. and it was really, it was an interesting time to do it. But yeah. It was also really interesting because it made me start questioning some, some ideas that I had about myself as a, as a creative person. Yeah. And it made me kind of see that, um, my creativity to this point was, was, I was all really wrapped up in acting and, and doing mm. that sort of stuff. Mm. And, and I realized how I could be creative in so many other ways and yeah. so many other, I mean, even like, even how I like decide to like plate my breakfast in the morning can be an artistic <laughs> thing if I really want it to be. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? Like there's a way to kind of, in my egg. <laughs> Maybe just two two eggs and a bit of bacon to make a smiley face. Start you know, my like, day with a smile, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah, and I just saw, and I was like, yeah, there, there's there's I can be creative and 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 and, and um, explore that in a lot of different ways besides acting. Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. I think journaling is a very very powerful tool. I've always journaled, and I think that's how I transitioned into like starting to write. Um, articles and things like that because I always um, I I don't know I guess maybe being creative as well like you've always got so many wonderful things happening up here and mm. I just you know um, over the years I got to a point where journaling was a way for me to express so even if I was happy or sad or anxious or whatever mm. it may be it just felt good to write whatever I had going up here it was all of that chatter, that mind chatter that I yep. could just express out and be like, Whoa, okay, it's out there now, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can yeah. close the book and not look at it again, or yeah. it's something I'd like to go back on, you know, and read yeah, yeah. And, and, and work through that, you know, as well. But I think again, yeah, like it, it could be a creative thing, but I know a lot of people do it as a, they use journaling as a tool, which is awesome. And I think mm -hmm. just you starting with that, again opened up so much for you it really did and, I, and and also it was like i mean for me i'm I, i'm like uh i'm resistant to it you know i'm resistant to journal i can't i'm like a i find it hard to to write because my brain is going quickly and i get frustrated because my my hand won't write <laughs> as quick as my brain and i'm like yeah. catch up and you know that sort of dance but it's like um there's 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 opportunity or there's, there's something interesting when you lean into things that are, that you're resistant to a little bit. Yeah. Um, like I know I have tools, other tools that I use to like, to kind of um, clear my mind or to kind of uh, uh, release or open or anything like that. I have other tools, but it's cool as well to explore, explore that way. And also like a way to get, I'm a person that, um, is always taking a lot in all the time. I love to consume yeah. information. I love to learn things. I love to like, um, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm, a lot is coming in all the time. So to mm. have something that, to, that allows things to come out as well yeah. is really, really useful. Um, and journaling was really useful to yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you get better at it as, the, you know, because it is daunting to think a lot of the things that, you know, if you do just allow it to flow, like if you just allow your hand to just write without thinking and there's no process, it's just, you mm -hmm. know, naturally allow it to flow. I think it's just, um, th again, that is just so cool to allow yeah. that for yourself because sometimes we become that perfectionist of wanting to read back something that is, you know, positive or happy, you know, but you also just want to be real and you want to just be able to express without having a filter all the time. Yep. 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 And when well, it's just for you, it, it works, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or even like the, you, you don't have to curate it. Anymore. Yeah. There's, there's nothing you need to like design about it. You, it's just, yeah. It totally. can be whatever it is. Yeah. You know, like that's kind of, it's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. I agree. hundred percent. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go to the next one now. Ready? Yeah. Coming back to Australia. <laughs> Because I, you always throw that at me and go, yeah, when I come back, da, da, da. and I'm like, so, do you ever feel like you want to come back and settle here, or are you wanting to just make America your home, the forever home? Because I know you bounce back all the time, so I was just throwing it out there for people who um, are thinking maybe to relocate or have relocated and maybe going through the same thing, just throwing things out there for you. Yep, yep. Um, there's a part of me that's always felt like I would go back to Australia at some point. Mm -hmm. Um, um, and I not sure. I feel like there are certain things that I could hypothesize might take me back, including like, Oh, if I had kids, I would like to have, uh, I'd like to have kids probably in Australia. Mm -hmm. Um, so like that's something that could bring me back. Um, it really, I, and I don't mind it being this way, but it's kind of pretty open. It could like, yeah. like right, right now, like I want to be here. I, I mean, <laughs> I prefer to be distracted probably right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know what you mean. Then. But, yeah. but right now though, like this is, I, I have more that I want to do here and more yeah. that I, so like here is the place. Yeah. Um, um, but I have always been a person that's kind of um, open to and curious about like being in other, even in, I, w- I wish I could be in other parts of the world too. Like, yeah. you know, I wish I could be an, an actor in other parts of the world, you know, like, like in Spain even, or so, I don't know. So yeah. like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. like if, if I could be an actor and I'd probably be in other parts of the world as well. But yeah. um, with the kind of, there's just so much here in, America there's so much opportunity there's a lot of amazing work here and the type of work that gets done here is there's just there's just so much and um so that is still kind of where my kind of priority or my kind of um yeah focus is and and maybe at some point that'll shift um yeah but it's I love Australia and I love my family and my friends there and um I love the life there and so it's 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 always like a, a thing where I'm like, you know, it's it's a great place, and I, it, you know, I, I think about it. I do think about it. Yeah, yeah. well, that, that's why I thought I'd throw it in because I know we talk about it, and um, I think every time we do get to chat, you always mention us. So I'm like, is he thinking of moving back? Like, you know, so I, I'm just gonna throw it at you because. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I totally get it. And um, when, I mean, if you go back to what you were saying before of how you wanted to do soccer and this and that, and it's like there are so many things that you can do and where you're at right now, I mean, um, hopefully when everything starts building up again, there are so many opportunities and there always has been so many more opportunities over there. And I think, um, I, I don't know, Mitch, I think personally wherever you go, uh, with your talent and your work ethic and how you do things because I've worked with you and I know how you work and I think you'll be able to work anywhere in the world um, because I remember you were so ill when we were working, like we all got sick with you. <laughs> and I can see you like when we were backstage, you just were not your colour, you are almost translucent and you were just like, I don't know how I could do this. And then you got out there and you did your thing. And every time you kind of came back into the wings, you were just like held over. (laughs) We were going to lose you. And then you kind of went back out. No one would ever know. And I just thought, you're incredible, you know. And I know a lot of us do it because, you know, like the saying goes, the show must go on, you know. But really our health is number one. Like we really should be looking after ourselves. Oh, gosh. I just... I know that your work ethic will take you anywhere and every way that you want to go. So I'm just, um, yeah, I just think it wouldn't even matter if you moved back here, if you moved to Spain, if you went to London, if you, I just think you would be fine wherever you go, if I'm honest. Thank you. Oh, that means a lot. Thank you. No, I, I, 
that means a lot. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just have to keep following, you know, where I like following where I want to be, you know, yeah. um, and um, being open. I, I, I'm not afraid to, um, uh, I'm not afraid to pose questions and to like, to like assess and to be like, wait, am I feeling this still? Or am like, I want to be honest with myself about how I'm, how I'm feeling about things all the time. Yeah. Um, and that's really good advice. Cause I was actually going to ask you the, the next question I was going to ask anyway is, your advice, like um, anyone that is in maybe your current position or um, stepping in to this, you know, this field, this industry, what advice do you think you could give them? You know, I mean, everyone's different. They're going to have their own experience, but, you know, in a nutshell, what do you think you could throw out there for up and coming or anyone um, that needed? Yeah. Um... This might sound really simple, but I think it's like the thing that has to, well, you want to be there all the time. Yeah. And it's, um, I think it's follow the fun. Yeah. Follow the fun. And that like, and that means like, just like follow the curiosity, follow the, um, follow the joy, find the, you know, like, and, and that doesn't mean that everything's happy all the time. That might be something's mm -hmm. challenging, but if you if there's it, like, just follow your curiosity and do it, do it the fun way or like go for yeah. the fun, you know, like I think um, um, it gets easy in this industry because it's challenging and there are things that like that you butt up against all the time to, um, to get affected, to get, I don't know, um, to lose sight of things sometimes to, to get bogged down, all these sorts of things. And really I just think it's coming back to, the, the the little the little fun the little the little that I think it's probably related to like the thing that got you into it in the first place you know that little yeah. oh, this is cool this is cool you know it's just find find the cool the fun all the time yeah um, and I think that can help you navigate a lot yeah. through as through no, navigate through challenges uh, navigate through jobs yeah. navigate through like um, auditions too like if you're auditioning yeah. just find the fun, find something fun, you know? Um, and you're ever uh, learning too, aren't you? Like, I mean, every audition is different. Um, every panel is different, you know, unless there is the same odd people here and there that you go, Oh, <laughs> they're here again. Yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah. I think you're kind of, like, we're always learning. And I say this all the time. Um, and I just think we are, you know, ever evolving and growing. And I think um, being a sponge and absorb everything. And like you said, like take you back to what, how you started in the first place, you mm -hmm. know, and it's all about like even going along these journeys and adventures along the way and what you learn, uh, maybe doing things as well that brings you back to that feeling of how you started, yeah. like putting yourself out there to doing things that um, again, create that discomfort but it's also about stepping out of that box and thinking what else can I do to learn and grow um, I think once we plateau and get a little stale um, that's when we have to reassess our, our, you know our choices our options our life you know what we want um, going forward and I think it's just also to enjoy yeah. every day you know like even in the hardship yeah. like yeah. there's got to yeah. there's always good out of <laughs> hard times to, you know, and this industry is a tough one, you know, it's not yep. always breezy. It's fun. Like you said, follow the fun, yep. you know, yep. but um, yeah, I, yep. I definitely would agree with that because it can be such a great ride, you know, yeah. like you just yeah. gotta strap on and go and like enjoy everything that pops up along the way and not to be afraid yeah, to yeah. go for it. Yeah. 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 And, and I think like, the thing, one of the things I just love so much about this industry is the com is the community and the people, yeah. and like and like so people like your like I have these people that I love that I and like if you have these like like yourself and I have people here that are just like um, they're kind of like my tribe almost you know they're yeah. like the, and yeah. like it, it, they're constant like support and sources of inspiration and. Um, they're the people that I want to like make stuff with the people that, you know, like, so yeah. it's like, it, it's, it's, um, yeah, there's something about 
finding your community or finding your your people you know yeah, that, that, and you that's definitely really... attract that to you too because i think like what you put out there and this is for every individual what you definitely put out there and how you um hold yourself and what you want for yourself each day in this life um i think you definitely attract those people to you and uh i think once we kind of are more open to that then you know like yeah definitely you're gonna have to jump some hurdles with certain people and learn life lessons along the way and that's not that's just in life, I think, in yeah. general, you know, like yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be a smooth ride, like with the people that surround you, like because sometimes the, um, you know, it could be one of your closest people that you, you surround yourself with could be, you know, someone that hurts you the most, you know, you never know how things go. But I think definitely when you do find your people that surround you and support you, that changes your life on a daily mm-hmm. basis because they're your like you said it's your tribe it's yeah. it's your people you know yeah. um they're your backbone as well when yeah. you need them the most and you yeah know yeah definitely definitely mm-hmm. no i'm always grateful for yeah for the people i have around me yeah so much mm-hmm. and it's so good especially like with you relocating i think it is so important you know like you your family is such a good strong um support system for you and to keep you pushing for those dreams because you know sometimes if you don't have that support it's very difficult to keep pushing when Mm -hmm. you're almost feeling like you should be dragged back home type of thing Mm -hmm. so i'm so happy for you that you you've been able to be over there and have that support constantly it's amazing my family back home have been amazing they've been supportive the whole time yeah and um i know that they wish i was around a bit more but I, i i left home when i was 18 to go to Perth and kind of haven't really been around that much since. So, um, and that was it. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so lucky I have brothers that are yeah back in Sydney and can be there. With yeah, them. of course. Yeah. You know that always helps. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, any last little bit before we wrap it up? Anything you'd like to throw out there? Um. Thank you so much for welcome, inviting me along with, and like it's just a beautiful thing that you're doing here. And I feel um, really uh, chuffed to be able to come and speak with you. And I mean, it's just, I get to chat to my friend. I know, so, I know. Um, <laughs> Different setting, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but no, I really uh, appreciate it. And, and, um, and in these, in these times, like it's just, it feels cool to feel connected to like your community. It does, like in any way. Yeah. Anyway, so thank you for, for you are building so the community. <laughs> You're so welcome. Anytime. You can pop on anytime. I would be happy to have. I was just so happy when you were like, yeah, I'm doing it. You know, I was like, oh, good. Like, I was so happy that you wanted to do one and, and just share with everyone. Like, I think it's just so cool because I love connect this is this is the reason why i started i just love connecting everybody and we're all out doing amazing things and we're kind of spread out everywhere in the world and i just um i just think it's so cool just to put things out there like this as simple as this is just having like a chat really Mm -hmm. um but also we might not even realize what an impact it could make on others out there that are watching and and hearing everyone's different um journeys along the way within the industry and you know, I think if I'm helping someone or helping many and along with my guests, then we're doing a great job. And I just, mm-hmm. that's the reason why I started in the first place. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Aww. And like to see, cause like your energy just comes through and it's just beautiful. So it's, it's awesome. Um, oh, thank you, you, Mr. Winter. <laughs> thank <you so> <laughs> <much>. <laughs> Mm. all right my love i'm going to wrap it up here and um we will definitely have another chat very very soon awesome okay cool thanks so much i hope you all enjoyed that interview just as much as i did and if you want to see more of my content then subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can receive all of the newest uploads and content and don't forget you can also go and visit my website uncensoredandreal.net to go and view all of my articles as well that's available for you to read and anything else that you need i'm going to link it all down below we've got a free community group that i'd love for you to join to be a part of all the up and coming events happening in 2021. So until next time, I'll see you then.